Hello and welcome to our lesson on solving simple inequalities. Today we're going to solve some uh, math problems that involve inequalities, which means that the two sides are not equal. We're going to use some, sim some symbols that you may be familiar with. The first one is greater than. You can see the greater than symbol right here. That means greater than. And then we also have less than, which you see the symbol right there. We're going to also be using greater than or equal to. And in this case, you see that there's a line underneath that greater than sign. That means that it could also be equal to the solution that I got there, but it's also greater than. And then we also can use less than or equal to, which you see here also has the line underneath. So let's look at a sample problem that I started working on here for you just a little bit. I have t minus 3. t minus 3 is less than or equal to 22. And just like I would solve before, I want to isolate my variable, which is the t here. So instead of subtracting 3, I want to add 3 to both sides in order to get my solution here. So on this side, I have t minus 3 plus 3. Well, if I start with t and I take away 3 and I add 3, I'm left with just t on this side. And then I'm going to copy down my same symbol, this less than or equal to, down here in my solution. And then I have 22 plus 3, which is 25. So my answer for this problem is t is less than or equal to 25. And I want to show this on a number line. So I'm going to draw a number line here. And I'm going to start with 25 in the middle. Don't make your number line until you get done and you're doing your solution. Because, as you see, this one's at 25. And I don't want to start at 0 if my answer is going to be around the number 25. That's a big, long number line. It's more work than you have to do. So then I want to put a couple numbers on my number line on both sides. So I'm going to put 24. And I'm going to put 23, and then I'll go on this side, and I'll put in 26 and 27. Okay, so my solution is t is less than or equal to 25. Well, it can be equal to 25, so I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to make a dark circle on the number 25. I make the dark circle because it is equal. it can be equal to 25, but it's also any number that's less than 25. So that means it could be 24, it could be 23, it could be 22, it could even be fractions and decimals in between. It could be 23 and a half, it could be 24.2. So on my number line, I'm just going to draw a dark line so that it shows up here going in this direction. And the arrow on the end here means that it could be any number that is less than 25. So there's the solution to that problem, and I graphed it on a number line. So let's try another problem. Here I have a multiplication problem. 6n is greater than or equal to 18. I'm going to do the same thing here. This 6n really means 6 times n. So I want to do the opposite of multiply, and the opposite of multiply is to divide. So I want to divide both sides by 6. Again, I'm not drawing my cross because I have this less than or equal to sign. You can, just don't do it through it. Just do it like right in front of it. If you need to do that, it might be easier not to do that. So over here I have 6n divided by 6. Well, 6 divided by 6 is 1. Remember that if you have 1 in front of the variable, it can be invisible. And that's the only number that can be invisible. So my answer here is just going to be n, or 1n, is greater than or equal to, I'm going to use the same symbol, 18 divided by 6, which is 3. So I know that n is going to be greater than or equal to 3 in this case. I also want to graph this on a number line. So I'm going to draw my number line over here. And what number should I start with? I should start with my solution and put that in the middle. So I'm going to draw my number line, the number 3 here. And then on this side I'll put in 2 and 1. And you'll probably ask me how many numbers should I put on my number line um, at a minimum. You should put in the number of your solution and then two numbers on either side, but really that doesn't matter. 
You can put as many numbers as you want on there. That's just how much work do you want to do to solve the problem. Okay, so I'm coming back to my solution. N is greater than or equal to 3. That means 3 could be a solution, so I'm going to draw a big, dark, closed-in circle at the number 3. Now, N is greater than or equal to the number 3. So what numbers on my number line are greater than 3? Well, that would be 4 or 5. It could be 4 and a half. It could be 5 and 3 quarters. It could be any of those numbers. So my line on this case is going to go in this direction. That's where that symbol helps you figure out which way do you draw your line. So it could be any number greater than or equal to the number 3. Okay, let's go to one that is not having the equal sign. This one is W minus 1 is less than 8. So I'm going to do the same thing here. This is a subtraction problem. So I'm going to do the opposite of subtraction, which is to add. So I want to add 1 to both sides. I'll draw my line here. So I have W minus 1 plus 1. Well, that leaves me with just W. My sign was less than, and then over here I have 8 plus 1, which is 9. Okay, so in this case, so I have my solution here, and I have W is less than 9. Now I want to graph this one on a number line. So I'm going to draw my number line over here, just like we did before, and I'm going to start with the 9 in the middle here, and I'm going to put numbers on both sides, 8. Here's 7. On this side, I'm going to put 10 and 11. Okay, in this case, my solution is W is less than 9, but it does not include 9. So instead of putting in a filled-in circle on 9, I'm going to put in an open circle just like that. You can see I did not fill it in. That means that my solution does not include the number 9, but it's going to include everything that's less than 9. So if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to go 8, 7, and everything in between. So my solution is going to go in this direction because that is less than 9. Okay, so if, if it's just the symbol, like over here, less than, this would also work for just greater than, you're going to put an open circle because that means I am not including the number 9 in my solution, but everything less than 9 would be a solution.